What if Jesus died on the cross, rose from the grave, and then descended to heaven after living a perfect life? What uh, would that have completely fulfilled his mission here on earth? What if he never made those 12 disciples, those 72 disciples, however many disciples he made? What if he never charged those apostles with uh, making disciples of their own? What if he never uh, poured his life into these two, three years into other men? What if he never multiplied himself into them? What if uh, those apostles never multiplied their lives? Where would we be 2,000 years later? Kind of a scary thought to think about. Well, first of all, Jesus, he wouldn't have fulfilled what God had placed uh, for him to do by simply dying on the cross for your sins and my sin, for living a perfect life. Yes, absolutely. But to only live to about 35 years old, and that's, and, oh, that's certainly huge. God sent Jesus to multiply himself into others uh, to make these faithful followers, not perfect, but faithful followers. There would be no uh, rapid change of this uh, world after Jesus' death these next 40, 50, 60 years of the gospel spreading throughout uh, Europe and Asia and Africa as a result. This wouldn't have happened. Uh, there would be no, uh, the, what would have happened to the church? The church would have quite possibly died. There would have been uh, no second, third generation. There would have been no Apostle Paul going to Timothy, 2 Timothy 2, 2, uh, what you've heard me share in the presence of uh, other men, uh, do likewise. That's yeah, a paraphrase, but it's this uh, aspect of multiplying themselves. You see, the, uh, the purpose of our lives as followers of Christ is to not simply become more like Jesus so we can be sinless or we can sin less. But the purpose of our lives is to be multiplied in others. If Jesus didn't make disciples, would we have a New Testament? Who wrote the Gospels? Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Well, those were his disciples, or in the case of Luke, somebody who had talked to those disciples. We wouldn't have the, the epistles from Peter. We wouldn't have all the, the Pauline epistles. We wouldn't, uh, we wouldn't have these things if Jesus didn't invest himself in other and multiplied himself. You and I, where would we be in life? It's kind of a scary thought. So uh, I want to now turn this with a question to you. So what gifts and abilities has the Lord uh, given you to help reach others? to help bring his love to others. How does God want you to use it? How does he want to multiply? How can you enhance what he's given you to be a faithful steward? I'd encourage you uh, to lean into these things. Uh, what gifts has he given you? The, uh, the teaching, uh, administration, serving, uh, whatever the case may be. Are you leaning into it for his glory so you can uh, multiply Jesus and other people? To those people that you're pouring into know that uh, that it's not just done once you've taught them information, but they're to go and do likewise. See, that's the exciting part when you see uh, your disciple going ahead and making disciples. When somebody's teaching what you've taught, you've probably had this with your kids. We you teach them something and they relay that information on uh, to somebody else. But it's, uh, I know we need to look both ways before crossing the street. Or you got to wear your helmet. It's encouraging as a parent to see those things. Likewise, as we make disciples, it's encouraging when they go and do likewise, make disciples also. And just keep in mind, we're all at different talents, one talent, five talent, 10 talents. For some of you all, it just perhaps pouring into simply a, your children who will then pour into their children. Perhaps it's just one friend who will pour into another friend into another friend. Others, it might be five, 10, 100, uh, 500 people that you'll end up pouring into over the course of your life, making disciples who they'll replicate themselves as well. Have that model of Jesus within them. And so that's why, once again, why we're doing this 40 days of disciple making journey, why we're looking at the life of Jesus in these 40 days, why I'm gonna be preaching this from the pulpit, we're gonna be having these daily messages or having the small groups uh, so we can try to figure out where do I fit in that journey and how am I replicating Jesus and others? It's the most rewarding thing you and I can do. So I'd encourage you to join us with that. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, I thank you so much that you didn't simply die on the cross for us, for all of our sins, as awesome and wonderful as that is. But Lord, you replicated yourself into faithful men who replicated themselves and replicated themselves. 
And Lord, you've given us such a gift, such a treasure. I pray that we would not waste it, but we would be good stewards and not be fearful, but lean into those situations in which you're calling us to share your gospel and to multiply your truths in other people. Help us to equip one another and love one another and love you. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen.